Well, there's probably been a lot of um, box openings, but you could always have another one. Um, it was about a week ago that my cat was still missing, um, and so I decided as soon as I was able to rescue my cat and bring it back home that I was going to take some uh, precautions and uh, take uh, the bull by the horn and um, get it a GPS uh, collar. Um, I looked into it. I saw on the internet that there were a couple of different companies out there. Uh, one in the U.S. and the other one that I was kind of interested in. I narrowed it down to two two companies. One called Tractive out of Belgium. Uh, one of the things that I liked about that company is that they claim to be global that um, you would be able to travel with your pet and uh, if your pet got lost you would be able to find it in various continents in Europe, Canada and the United States. Um, the battery life on that one was about two weeks versus PetTracker.com which uh, um, claimed that the battery life was going to be about 30 days and then later I found out that there's different variables uh, to that life expectancy. Uh, in any case, uh, Tractive, T-R-A-C-T-I-V-E, uh, I later found out that um, they don't sell this product in the United States. Right now they're only selling it in Europe. So. Uh, my hope was to be able to have um, a pet tracking device uh, that I could put on a, a, my cat uh, while I was in Canada uh, to safeguard the loss and, and hopefully enhance the recovery if lost. Uh, but I also found out that uh, chances are that uh, the one in the United States, I have no choice. Uh, there was either tractive which is doesn't sell the product in the United States or PetTracker.com. So, in any case, uh, let's see what uh, was inside the box. Um, one interesting portion was that if you Google PetTracker.com discount coupons on the internet you'll be able to find um, a 10% discount. So I was able to do that and this whole thing cost me with an additional uh, collar and here it's a collar for for 12 bucks. Um, it's amazing. Um, it's amazing what you can spend your money on and uh, we'll see how how good this thing. I'll I'll probably come back to this and uh, see exactly how the um, GPS tracking device attaches to this collar. I also picked up uh, at the local pet stop or uh, Petcom or PetSmart, Petco, any of any of those two franchises. We got a little little body harness, and I'm hoping that the tracking device that uh, I got will be able to at, um, adhere to this portion of the um, of the harness. So we'll uh, we'll put this on and show you my cat with it on. Um, a lot of the videos that it, um, have been on YouTube basically speak uh, and address. Um, tracking devices as it relates to dogs, um, just a couple um, basically talk to that of cats. Um, so my uh, my cat's going to be a badass. He's going to be bad to the bone. So that'll be kind of funny. Um, it's a nice compact box.
At, uh, you get three months of service uh, with this and uh, you get a quick guide you get the actual GPS it is quite light uh, from what I was told is that these little rubber uh, wings uh, is the antenna for the device so um, I guess I'm not going to be able to cut it off because I, I thought that this on, on my cat was going to be uh, quite big. But the intent and the idea will be to fix it to the back of the cat as it wears this uh, little body harness or uh, I don't know what else to call it but it's a harness in itself. So we'll um, get to that and inside the box you get um, two different types from what I was told and I, uh, I spoke to them on the phone you you get a um, various uh, you get two rubber bands one for a smaller collar and one for a wider collar and this is the actual clip that the GPS device clips onto and you have a little clip or depression uh, it just snaps in and uh, let's see am I doing this right I see okay so you squeeze it and it basically bites into the clip itself and that's that's it so to take it off you squeeze the GPS to take it off and you press as you mount it and let go and it clips on very securely hopefully from what I, I've seen other people talk about on YouTube um, you will get a message if the uh, GPS device uh, detaches from the clip itself so worst case uh, and it's not really a, a um, you know uh, a trade-off but you'll be able to find your GPS and your cast will be missing um, oh you get a um, little I guess neoprene cover for your GPS device for dogs I don't, I don't see my uh, dog jumping in the lake and retrieving uh, you get a power cord, a UPS power cord. It's a, actually, it's a micro um, UPS uh, USB, sorry, USB um, connection. Here's the charger, and here's the wall charger. So you get a wall charger, you get the cable, and you get that. And that's about it. Um, that's the unboxing. So maybe what I'll do is um, finish this up and uh, charge it and put it on my cat and see how she um, she works. Okay, well, I tried to uh, put the uh, mounting clip on this uh, body harness uh, that I thought would work and um, pretty much twenty dollars down the drain because there's no way that uh, that clip would uh, would fit on here uh, if you put it over here on on this side uh, the actual device instead of arcing in this direction would then arc in that direction it would be extremely difficult and, and uncomfortable for the pet uh, if you put it over here uh, the same thing uh, you would not be able to have it drape over uh, the shoulders uh, being the head is here and the, the body is here it would actually be in this type of orientation and uh, it would be extremely difficult for the cat so I opted up for the typical straight collar um, and uh, the cat is actually wearing the new collar now and I have the clip in the uh, charging 
uh, device and uh, as soon as that uh, is fully charged I'll put it on the cat and, and show you. Interesting thing, um, in other videos that I had seen um, instead of actually getting this protective uh, cover for the GPS device um, I was able to see in other videos that you got two mounting clips in case you had more than one collar which is probably more valuable to me than this neoprene cover which uh, will never be used for a cat. Uh, the other thing that I thought was kind of uh, interesting um, by the way this is made by um, it's pet, PetTracker.com but I believe that um, it is made by Qualcomm uh, the people that make uh, cellular technology um, devices I believe they also make GPS devices so uh, I don't know if this is kind of an in-house type of product for them uh, but you know that you're dealing with a major type corporation when you get a little pamphlet that has 27 pages of terms and conditions um, so um, that's never going to be read the quick start guide which I will read while the device is charging and get back to you to show you or tell you a little bit about how good of, of uh, instructions they come with and uh, we'll get back to you uh, after that well I finally got it set up and um, I will roll in a picture of the uh, GPS or pet tracker um, device on the collar on my cat as it um, as it appears uh, but this is uh, the iPhone app for the tracking purposes um, you can see the, sh the circle on the screen here that is the uh, the home zone or the home base that you could set up this is the smallest that it can get um, you can enlarge it but this circle basically represents um, a distance from edge to edge of about 75 yards um, I would have liked it to have been a little bit uh, more precise and concise but uh, that's basically what you get um, beggars can't be choosers in this situation since they're the only game in town pretty much the blue dot uh, I don't know if you can see it but the blue dot is basically my phone and the square um, icon there with the uh, paw is uh, my cat and uh, tomorrow what I'm going to do is not take my cat out but I'm going to take the collar off and um, go outside I'm hoping that the distance between the blue dot which represents my phone and the square icon which represents my cat will be a lot closer together uh, right now we're both in, indoors um, I happen to be um, in the basement so I'm not going to be able to get um, a real large uh, or accurate um, uh, picture or uh, GPS signal where, uh, we're, where I'm specifically at as it relates to the map. So anyway, that's, um, that's it for now. Um,